Welcome to True Power, home of the most powerful marketing tools, training, and technology on planet Earth. Get ready to earn, enjoy, and experience more than you ever dreamed was possible. If you're tired of just getting by and ready to really thrive, then buckle in and listen up. Here's your host, Matt Fox. Well, hello, hello, and welcome. Today on True Power Academy, we are going to be going over some new additions in the system and in the platform uh, to make your job a little easier and to obviously help you earn more residual income. So without any further ado, let me share my screen and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Anyways, so uh, first thing that we want to go over is the importance of getting the right leads in the right area for the right time. So when you go to the quick launch menu under request customer leads for the CRM, it's important that uh, you understand what it is that you're looking at. And the first thing to do is actually look at the market updates. And so when you click on market updates, it's going to pull up the back office of your pricing platform. And right here in the right hand corner is your market updates. And here you can see the last update is going to allow you to be able to look at where the markets are going to be most favorable for you to be talking to customers. So if you're working on commercial electric contracts uh, and talking to customers about the utility audit and of course going into their electric contract after that, then um, reviewing this, this tells us that we should be focusing our attention on Delaware, Illinois, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York, Pennsylvania, uh, for commercial natural gas, for residential electric, and for residential natural gas as well. So it's important that you review this, I would say at least on a daily basis, so that you're aware of wherever you're focusing is going to be the best market for you to be focusing on uh, for your customers. So when you select the leads, there are, are several options here. And so you've got residential for electric only, residential for natural gas only, and residential for electric and natural gas. So why have these broken out? Well, there are areas where residential electric is only prevalent or deregulation just for the electric side. Uh, but if you're doing natural gas, then there are going to be states that are only natural gas. And then, of course, those states that have both electric and natural gas are going to be listed here as well. So if we go back over here into the back office and under the uh, menu and we look at the market overview and we look at residential from this tab, now you can see that the residential market is a pretty small footprint, but it's going to show you states where you have electric only, states where you have electric and natural gas, and the states that have only natural gas as part of their deregulation for matrix pricing only. So when we talk about uh, residential, it is all done by matrix pricing. There is no special pricing for that in that regard. So that is the residential market. So when you're looking at the lead request, these coordinate with, so if we look at residential electric only, you can see the states that have just electric only so that when you go back over here, you can see which states just have electric only and those uh, coincide with uh, the request form for those leads. If we are looking at commercial markets, then the footprint is much larger. And then when we go into the request form, 
you see you've got commercial leads for electric, and that's matrix pricing only, uh, commercial natural gas matrix pricing, and electric natural gas matrix pricing. So matrix pricing is just what you get off of the shelf, right? So if we were to uh, go into our back office and let's say we were looking at an instant quote, then we wanna know um, if we're looking at a customer um, information, then we're only going to be seeing matrix pricing uh, at that point. The only time that we're going to see other pricing or for custom pricing is when we're doing the reverse auction. So when you see uh, commercial customer leads for natural gas, uh, custom pricing only for commercial customer leads, electric and natural gas custom pricing only, then that means that these are going to be the states that they may have um, some areas where if you look at this, if you look at the market overview, you're going to see that there are going to be areas that say, for example, Illinois. Illinois is one of those states where you have electric and natural gas for custom pricing. You also have it for commercial matrix pricing and it's available for residential uh, markets as well. So it's important that you uh, understand how all of that coordinates so that when you're requesting your leads after looking at the market overview, that's going to give you a better idea as to what market you're focusing on. Now, there are also some areas here where uh, the commercial customers for utility audit, that means that these states are states that do not have any form of deregulation and we can uh, do the utility audit, but we can't really go any further in that regard. So it's very limited. So I probably would not focus a lot of attention on that, although it uh, does make it nice when you're talking to other people that really don't have any other resources other than maybe taking advantage of the utility audit. The other thing to point out is the solar customer leads for common energy, which is the solar farm. Um, and that is for both residential and commercial. The solar customer leads for the power platform is only residential. So if you look at that and you see, again, Illinois is in there, several other states that are available that are not available uh, for a lot of other things. So for example, uh, Arizona, California, uh, Florida, Illinois, Texas, there's a lot of states in here that can provide you a lot of value when you're talking to the customer. For example, with Illinois, we know that we can deal with the utility audit in Illinois, the commercial matrix, commercial uh, custom pricing, we can do residential uh, electric and natural gas, uh, we can do the solar farm, and then we can also do uh, the power platform. So states like Illinois, and there's a couple others that make it very nice because you can actually create more than one revenue stream. So if you're opening up your conversation with that customer, uh, starting with the utility audit, so if we go to commercial customer leads, electric and natural gas pricing, and we select Illinois, then that means that we're going to be talking to commercial customers about the utility audit. When we get that bill, we're going to simultaneously enter it into the pricing platform to create a proposal uh, in order to help them if there's benefit uh, there for their electric contract. And then once that's done, then we'll go and add additional cost centers on the utility audit. And then we'll have a discussion with them as to whether or not it might make sense to uh, also have their uh, electric and natural gas looked at for their residents 
to include uh, solar to become energy independent. And so there's a lot of benefit, especially for states like Illinois. So take some time and look at the maps so that you are uh, familiar with the different territories and what they provide. And then also with the lead request form so that when those leads are put into your CRM, you know exactly what you're focusing on and you can get the greatest amount of impact for the customer. Obviously, the greater the impact for the customer, the great, the easier the yes, the easier the yes, the more revenue that you make. So just wanted to point that out. Um, when you go into your CRM, you'll notice that there have been some updates added to the system. And so uh, we still have the audit, commercial script, residential script, but we've added two more scripts here, one for the solar farm, which is for common energy, and for solar power, which is the power platform where we're actually installing the uh, solar panels on their home to make them energy independent. The whole key with installing uh, solar panels on their home and making them energy independent is to try and provide them a way to where we're going to cut what they're spending in half. In other words, if that customer is spending $300 a month on their electric bill, wouldn't it make more sense to be energy independent? And instead of paying $300 a month on their electric, they're paying $150 a month for the solar panels and becoming uh, not quite off of the grid, but pretty close. And so one of the things that we want to ensure, if it's a state that we have deregulation available, we wanna make sure that we facilitate getting their current contract at the best rate possible, because there's going to be times they're always going to be connected to the grid. And so we want to make sure that we're going to be able to afford them the best possible rate. So in the evening, if they're in one of those states where you do not have the ability to sell that energy back to the grid, then at night, when they're actually using power off of the grid, then they're going to be getting the best rate possible. Um, in states where you have uh, the ability to bank that and put that back on the grid, then we're going to size the solar system so that it is actually going to be able to fulfill the needs of the home and preferably a little extra so that uh, that extra power goes back onto the grid, creating a credit so that at night you're using your credit rather than uh, paying for it off of the grid. So making you a lot more energy independent, but either way, it's going to be uh, a good thing uh, to be energy independent, lower uh, emissions and going green is always a good thing. So uh, I just wanted to make sure and point some of those things out and let you know that they are available in your CRM. So also uh, the request for the bill for solar is in the template. So if you go down here to where it says first utility bill request for solar power, it is going to uh, send them an email allowing them either to click and enter their information, attach a copy of their bill. Uh, we're going to provide them with a no obligation custom savings proposal. Um, there's no obligation to that. Uh, however, um, I think that most people, once they see that proposal, it's going to be very beneficial for them to move forward. Uh, zero down solar, so they can upload it or they can just reply to this email and send you a copy of their most current uh, utility bill. So that is also available on screen. So one of the things that we are looking at right now, and you may have noticed some of the changes in the back office in the pricing platform. Um, and so I am going to enter in some information here. And so we're gonna look at uh, pricing for 
uh, a customer for uh, commercial in the Chicago area. So I've already got the zip code in there and I've got the KWH usage, which is the annual usage set to just under a million KWH. Anything over a million KWH, you cannot use matrix pricing. This is what we're looking at right now is matrix pricing. Anything over a million KWH has to have custom pricing, which means we need to set up a reverse auction in order to be able to price that effectively. Having said that, if you have a customer that uses 2 million KWH and you put in 2 million and hit update, it's going to tell you that there are no plans matching your criteria. That's because you're over a million KWH. So what I would tell you is if you have a customer that is 2 million KWH or 3 million KWH and you want to get an idea, then put in uh, 999, 999, just so that you can see it's just under a million KWH. And so I'm going to leave the margin set to five mils and the price to compare is what they're currently paying. And then when you come down and look at what the market says, this is going to show you uh, what are the chances of this being the most favorable opportune time for you to um, price this. So 55% of the total predictions below uh, are below the typical rate. So that is a good thing. So coming down here, we can see that based on the information that we put into the system, that we would be able to lower this customer from uh, 12.62 down to 7.46. Now that would be the best uh, overall contract. It's a 60 month term contract. And that would provide $258,000 worth of savings for the customer uh, and create some, obviously, some good upfront and residual income for yourself. The point is, you should be able to raise your mills to say 10 mills and double the amount of income that you would receive and not really have a whole lot of effect on the amount of savings. So the savings will still be well over $200,000. And so that's a huge benefit. Now, you're going to start noticing because this weekend and all the way up through to November 1st, we are going to be releasing and launching a new uh, aspect of our commission structure, which allows you to get 50% up front. So you're going to see some new things being added into the system. So let me uh, show you an email that is going to be going out. And so it says, get 50% of your commissions up front. Well, you can still get upfront commissions and residual income, but why not also have the choice to get 50% of your commission upfront and residual income? So one of our core values is to be bold uh, and we are holding to that development of a new commission plan available that's coming November 1st for all of our agents and brokers. You will now have the option to take 50% of the term upfront with qualifying suppliers. So not necessarily all suppliers are going along with that, but it will be available. So in this example, uh, you need to have a deal that is at least four years, uh, four year contract, and you can receive two years worth of upfront commissions um, and collect the remaining as residual. So I think that is going to be a huge benefit. So right here, you can see the three things to know about the plan is that it pays one month after the confirmation date. The upfront amount cannot exceed $40,000. Uh, 
and the contract must be within 12 months of the flow to be eligible for the plan. So what is the flow? The flow date is when it actually goes into effect. So if you have a contract that is going uh, into effect and it's going into effect in 18 months, it would not be eligible. As long as it's within 12 months or less, then it would be eligible for the 50% uh, commission upfront to receive up to two years worth of those commissions up front. And it needs to have a contract that is at least four years uh, in length. So uh, please view the supplier payment structure report, which is found under reports in, in your report section of your dashboard for a list of qualifying suppliers. Right now, if you look at it, you're not going to see a whole lot of, of information because we're updating all of that. So you're learning about something that's coming before anybody else. So uh, additionally, all the plans are now priced dynamically. So you can increase your commission rate by booking more deals and keeping your drop rate low. So we're looking forward to seeing deals being booked uh, and you taking advantage of this new pay plan. So it is going to be really kind of nice to be able to have that benefit as well. So make sure that you always look at the details um, on any deal that you're doing. That's going to give you more information as to what are the conditions uh, you know, are there any margin caps? Broker margins cannot exceed 15 mils. Sometimes you will see suppliers that will have a margin cap that will say, um, you know, over 10 mils, uh, the broker margin cannot exceed 10 mils on this one with uh, Constellation. And so there are going to be some variables depending on the different suppliers. So be sure to take a look at that. And if you need more help with that, uh, shoot an email to myself or to support. Be more than happy. We're going to go over more of this information uh, over the next week as we release this new feature into the system. But it's going to be nice because it's going to be able to uh, give you uh, an opportunity to make more money. So that is going to make it really exciting. So um, I am going to stop here just for a second and open the floor for some Q&A. Awesome. So I hope that uh, today's information provided value to you. Um, and we will talk again soon. So have a wonderful week and uh, see you next time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So have fun storming the castle. Bye now.